Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a small business Saturday. I know a lot of you enjoy discovering lots of amazing small businesses and I have a brand new one for you today. So very, very exciting. So if you like the sound of that, I want to discover a small business that specializes in like gothic perfume and apothecary things then today's video is going to be for you so do subscribe and i will get straight into the video now i was contacted by a company i think i'd been following them for a while but i didn't know like too much about them and they offered to send me some items to review for you so i've got quite a few items and their presentation is stunning and you'll you'll see what I mean when I show you but the company I'm going to be talking about today and I really hope I don't butcher the name because I was practicing it before I started recording <laughs> is Atelier Goetia. I really hope I'm saying that right I will put the name on the screen in case I've still butchered it but I think it's Atelier Goetia. So I do have quite a lot of information about like the scents and everything on my phone so if I'm looking down that's why. They are a business that specialises in occult inspired all natural perfume oils and as I said like apothecary things like soaps and they also do solid perfumes and just a lot of like beauty perfume that kind of thing. I do have a little thing to read on my phone it says all our products are made from using the highest quality essential oils. Who doesn't love an essential oil? <laughs> um, plant extracts and precious resins. And our perfume oils are made using a carrier base of either apricot kernel oil or sweet almond oil. All of their products are 100% natural, cruelty free and vegan friendly. So if that's very, very important to you, then they've got you covered. <laughs> So I will show you their business card first. So this is what I mean by the packaging. All of their packaging is like black and gold, which really gives it that like luxurious feel to it. So this is their logo on the front. So it's kind of got a snake with some arrows going through it and then a crown. So all of their packaging matches this. And then this is some of their information. So that's her name. And then it's got their name and their like what they do which is natural perfumery and apothecary and then it's got their website their email and also their instagram and facebook so they do have their own website so all of the details are there but if you can't read them i will put them in the description box below for you so you can just quickly tap the drop down and go and have a look at their website so that's their business card and just to kind of show you when it arrived this is like two of the products like you can kind of see how I'm struggling to hold it you can kind of see how everything matches this like black and gold theme i absolutely loved it it looks so professional but luxurious as well. She's also given me a coupon code for you, which is simply spooky. So I'll put that on the screen for you here. So if you enter that at checkout, you also do get 10% off. There was also this letter that says Kirsty in a gold pen, and it's got this gorgeous seal on the back. I absolutely love a wax seal. I think they're so pretty. Even like the envelope is gold inside. Like their branding is like, like on another level. <laughs> So in here's a little card with their business card on again. It says, thank you for your interest in reviewing our products. And she's given me like a list of all of the items that she's included for me and also about the code. So yes, that's really nice. And it was all written in a gold pen. So I'll go through the perfumes first because that's what you're probably the most interested in and that was also what I was the most interested in too. Um, so she's given me this little box, which is quite a big box actually. Um, and inside are four of her perfume samples. And I have like looked through this stuff apart from the things that are wrapped. But the fact that there's like this like fake moss inside, like I absolutely love the aesthetic of her brand. Even these like small extra um details just make it really really effective and as you can see there are four mini sample bottles i've seen on her website you can get a set of 10 sample ones i think um this is the perfume oil sample set and even the box for like a sample is super super nice um and there are four one milliliter samples in here um and she did ask me what kind of scents i was into and i said mainly sweet and kind of florally or fruity i don't really like the musky scents that much um but 
you can kind of pick and choose what scent you like so you can pick your four samples from the drop down menu on her website so if you don't like sweet scents she does have stuff that isn't sweet as well and is more like woody woodsy <laughs> that kind of thing i did wear one the other day because i wanted to see like what it would be like um and i think the one that i tried was mara so this is the Mara scent. They're very, very cute bottles. Um, and she did say in her notes that there are 24 applications across all of that. So that's quite a lot for such a small bottle. And this is the packaging of them. Hopefully you can see up close. Again with the gold. And then these are actually rollable bottles, which I really, really like because that means you can really easily like put it on your neck without it like dribbling all down you and put it on your wrist without getting it on your clothes like it's really easy to control and this is the one that I tried um this like for the scent it says french lavender bitter almond tonka bean sweet myrrh and vanilla so I put this on and I definitely got like the almondy scent, the strongest I would say, rather than the lavender. You can kind of get a hint of the lavender, but I would say it's more like an almond scent. It smells really good and it's actually a lot more sweeter than it sounds. I guess it does kind of sound sweet when you think about it. It does have that like essential oil smell to it as well. It's a really, really nice perfume oil. So this is the one I tried. I put it on my wrist. Um, and my neck it, it went on very like buttery it wasn't like all this liquid came out and was like dripping down it was very like controlled probably due to the rollerball that's on this um and i was sat in the car and it like kept hitting me and it was such a nice scent so i really really like this one i wouldn't say it stayed on like all day but i'm guessing because it's more of a natural item and like brand and everything i'm guessing maybe that's why i don't know if other perfumes have stuff in it that makes it last longer not a clue <laughs> But yeah, so this is the first little bottle. The next one, Orneus. Orneus. So that's this one. And this one is described as apricot, petite grain, bitter almond, cinnamon, amber, sandalwood, benzoin, ricinus. This is really testing my, <laughs> my pronunciation. Res, resinous, pine, smoky, guick. Guica wood? Gu Guica wood? Oh my gosh. Oh wow. <laughs> That's definitely a lot stronger than the other one, I would say. Very, very strong. I'd say maybe this one would stay on longer because it is more strong, but you can kind of see right there. Like it's really controlled, it doesn't drip or anything, and it just feels very like buttery. I definitely say you get like that spiciness with the cinnamon. I don't know what that smell is. It kind of smells like history. <laughs> I know that's a really weird thing to say. But it kind of reminds me of just like history in general. This is why people send me the scent notes because of history. What a description. But I think it has that like old smell to it. Definitely a stronger scent. And it's almost a bit smoky as well. That could be the other ingredients that I... In fact, it literally says smoky guiac wood. If I'm pronouncing that right. So that's definitely more of like an like an old smoky apricotty scent so yeah that's this one orneus i definitely say i prefer mara next we will go on to verin this one says it's a saffron infused almond oil turkish rose blood orange cocoa ancient spices and resins bergamot labdanum I'm just making up words at this point. Patchouli and jasmine. This sounds like something I would really like. I do like rose scents. I like orange scents. So we will put this one on the other wrist. I'm going to smell really weird walking through town today. <laughs> oh, I really like that one. That's really different, actually. I would say these scents are like nothing I've really s smelled before. But I am a bit inexperienced with perfumes because I literally have like body sprays mainly and a diesel perfume. Um... But I do find it generally really hard to find gothic perfumes. And I do like that they offer them in the sample size. Um, because reading them you could think, okay, maybe I do like that. And then you get it and you're like, well, actually, I prefer this other one. So it's nice to be able to try them out before you commit. It's really nice. This one's actually quite strong too. I'd say this is stronger than the Marva one. Maybe it's just that I put more on. I'd say that one really like blends together. It's not like you can pick any specific thing out, I would say. Maybe it's the saffron and I just don't know what saffron 
smells like. It smells really, really nice though. I'd say you can probably pick out the orange the most. It smells really, really nice though. Definitely more like refreshing, more of like an energizing scent. And this is what the little bottle looks like. And then the last one in the sample set is Kalumpkin. <laughs> I kind of like the name of this one, <laughs> could be butchering it, but, um, and this is the last one. This says Jasmine, Fresh Violets, Rosewood, Pine, Forest, Rose, Vanilla, and Sandwood. This definitely sounds like a very florally scent, uh, maybe a bit of sweetness with the vanilla. I'm running out of wrists. <laughs> I have to put this on the other side. Oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. I definitely say it's um, a floral scent, which is not surprising by the description. I'd say that's again more of like a fresh florally scent. That's a really really nice one. I'd say my favourite is the Mara one because it's very very sweet. It's got that like hint of lavender. It sounds like the one I'd like the best and it is the one I like the best. Um, second I would put Columkin, which I'm happy about because it's got a cool name, um, which is the very like fresh florally scent. Third, I would pick Varin. I do like it, um, but I'd say I just prefer the other two more to it, but it is actually a really nice scent. And I'd say my least favourite is Orneus, even though that does have a cool name too. Um, it's just, I'd say, a little bit too smoky for my kind of taste. It does smell like very, very smoky and very history-like. <laughs> um, so those were the four little bottles. They're very, very cute, very fun to test out as well and as i said they do come in this little pull out box um with the logo on there very very like fancy and luxurious so that was the first kind of item that she sent to me and i've got three things left so there's this cute little box this which is a soap and then this little pouch so i'll go for the pouch next so this is like a kind of suede pouch and then it's got the branding on there see even like the details of this is just really really cute now this i won't be able to test out because it's a hair and body elixir so this says it's a two two millimeter sample she gives these out as like a freebie and orders over 15 pounds so that's really really nice um she says the full 30 milliliter bottles are around 22 pounds so that's nice that, again you get to try this out and see if you like it before committing to something so it does have a little dropper which is very cute so it's easy to kind of get out of the bottle it says made with apricot kernel oil for a light non-greasy texture and blend of natural essential oils um this is an extremely refreshing potion which is sure to leave your skin feeling beautifully soft and your hair looking shiny and healthy apricot kernel oil promotes radiance soft softens skin provides deep nourishment and strengthens um and then it says kind of how to use it it definitely smells very very nice it does smell very like refreshing um probably due to like the apricot but it doesn't have like that smokiness in it so that smells really really good um i might use this for my skin i don't usually tend to use hair oils because my hair gets greasy really easily like unless i back comb it and use hairspray it gets really easy it gets greasy really easily and it says the scent notes of this although it's made with like the apricot kernel oil it says the notes are grapefruit that's probably why it's so refreshing grapefruit is like very refreshing of a scent juniper berry cedarwood and bergamot that smells really really good i'd love like a perfume in this maybe she does make a perfume because that smells really really nice um so this was the little sample of the hair and body elixir so that came in here next up i'll go for the little box and in here is a solid perfume I've never had a solid perfume i was kind of thinking about buying one from lush because there was like this parma violet scent that i absolutely loved and the big one was quite expensive so i thought maybe i'll go for a solid perfume and then they discontinued <laughs> so i've never tried a solid perfume but again i love the detail of this so first of all it's in this really cute little gift box and this is so smooth like it reminds me of like that soft lamination i have of my planners and then inside is a little solid perfume box again with all of this moss super cute and on here is actually their logo but it is a wax seal which is really, really cool. It says Empusa on it. So that's the name of this scent. This says blood orange, basil, 
cardam cardamom patchouli black pepper and cedarwood that sounds really good i feel like black orange would be really nice it kind of sounds a bit more like earthy this smells like if you walk into an essential oil shop and you get hit with that really nice like refreshing scent that smells really really good i'm assuming that she does like a liquid perfume if you're not into solid perfume that smells incredible i really like that and then inside is this little kind of solid perfume bar if this says that it's a brand new sample and that it's not actually on their website right now so you'll have to wait for this i guess um it says it will be sold on the site in the near future in sample sets of three for 30 pounds and it says you do get approximately 25 applications in here obviously you don't use a lot because it's highly fragranced um and there are two milliliters per tin but it says they are solid versions of our scent collection and are made in a base of vegan friendly candelilla wax maybe <laughs> apricot kernel oil and vitamin e oil and then i've read the scent notes out this smells really really good that could even be like my second or third favorite scent it smells so good <laughs> so this is the little solid perfume oil and lastly <laughs> is the soap so this says it's a agave 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 and oat soap bar so this says it's six pounds per 100 grams i'm assuming this is 100 grams um so that's quite a good price i'd say for a soap that's like all natural i did keep the presentation because i thought you had to see this with the gold seal and the string and this little like plant and it says thank you on the back absolutely stunning packaging i feel like i should have taken a photo of this before i opened it you can definitely smell the oats in this i'd say this is a lot less fragrance than the other things but that's a good thing because it is a soap <laughs> you do not want the strength of a perfume in a soap especially because it says it can be used for your face <laughs> so although it still has a scent it is a lot more subtle so that's kind of the coloring of it i haven't opened it too much because i would like to try and take some photos of these for instagram but that's kind of what it looks like and this says that this soap bar is suitable for the hands body and face so that's why it is probably less fragranced because you can use it on your face um it says our soaps contain no synthetics and detergents and are made in small batches the overall benefits are that they are nutrient rich non-drying always a good thing and are suitable for sensitive and irritated skin so that's always good to hear my hands get so dry you probably can't tell on camera but especially this hand like it just I mean, it's not too bad because I put hand cream on, but I feel like because I wash my hands quite a lot, soap does bother it unless I use like the Dove soap. So after that's gone, I'll definitely try this out and see what I think um, because a non-drying soap is always good for my very poor irritated hands. <laughs> so yeah this was the last item i hope this was really interesting for you i know there was quite a lot of talking and it was a little bit longer of a video than i thought it would be but i do like to really go through all of the scents and really like showcase this so a huge thank you to atelia goetia i really hope i'm pronouncing that right for sending me these items to review for you it was very very kind of them i hope you also discovered some new like gothic natural perfumes and apothecary things as well um just from sampling this brand i do feel like it looks really really interesting and if i try out all of the perfumes maybe that that would be my next like go-to perfume once i finish the one i'm currently using um i think the scents are really nice they're very strong which you want in a perfume um, and i like the fact that you can have the samples because obviously it's really difficult to buy online perfumes if you can't try them out like in a shop so it's nice to be able to have the samples and kind of see which ones you would use and you also do get a lot of uses out of them as well so yeah i do hope you enjoyed this video what scent do you think would be your kind of thing do you like sweet scents fruity scents floral scents smoky history scents <laughs> do let me know in the comments do like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye